want to get my phone number in here. This is what my rate card looks like. It is just beautiful. It printed so well. So yeah, I worked on my hourly rate. Um, I worked with a fellow creative to come up with this number and then I put down all the things I do. Flip it over. Isn't it pretty? Wow. And I like hand doodled all of this and hand wrote this and even these circles, I hand drew these in Procreate on my iPad. So wow, I'm really happy with this. So I'll bring my rate card to my meeting and then I'll also bring my business cards. Disaster. I'm heading uptown to a client meeting. As you guys know, I'm doing freelance design for some people, um, some various different clients in different industries. So I'm heading up to Fifth Ave. That's where this one client's office is. And basically what I'm doing is I'm showing them a presentation I put together. I have a mood board, I have some inspiration, I have some mock-ups of what we could potentially create together. So for this one brand, they need help with some flat lay capture and overall just social strategy and stuff like that. So I'm excited to share my ideas with them and this is just like, can you see how happy I am right now? Like this is what I've been wanting to do and I'm finally doing it. Just like freelance, meeting with a bunch of people, working with some of them, you know, stuff like that. This is what I'm wearing to the meeting. My hair is getting really long. Like, look how long my hair is getting. Should I cut it or should I leave it? I think I could cut it to like here. Like, what do you think? Or should I just keep it long? Anyway, that's a whole other thing. I basically did some intense creeping on the brand. And when I say creeping, I mean like looking at their website, like looking at all of their social pages and everything and seeing their schemes and like what they've already done and then just kind of amping it up another notch kind of that's what I've done so that is what I'm doing today just wanted to fill you guys in of course I'm loving this like vlogmas updating constantly Can you tell I just like stepped out of a wind tunnel? It is so windy and freezing outside. So I've been back from my meeting for a little bit. I just ate a whole Chipotle bowl and my lipstick is somehow still okay. I thought I'd have to reapply before talking to you guys, but I think it's still here. It's a Lancome, Lancome red lipstick. Um, but yeah, the meeting went super well. Um, the brand has a lot that they need help with, which is really nice because I get to, you know, work on a bunch of different things for them. A lot of just graphic work, some email stuff, some website stuff, just a lot of fun little projects we're gonna work on. So that's great. It's gonna be very fun working with them. And you guys have a lot of questions about my whole freelancing like process, so I'm gonna probably do a whole video in December just all about that. So let me know if you guys have any specific questions you want me to answer. Um, it's taken some time and I've actually gotten lunch and dinner with a bunch of different people in the industry that already do freelance. So they've been helping me a lot with just figuring out my rates and like what I should be, how many clients I should have and stuff. So I only have two clients right now. Um, I have a workout class client and I have um, this client, which is an accessories brand. And eventually I'll like tell you guys who they are and stuff. But right now we're still in the process of like planning that. So I have two clients right now and I think that's honestly enough for me it's a lot of work you know just putting together plans and creating the content and like going to their offices and stuff so I'm definitely busy especially also with having YouTube and the podcast and everything yeah I feel like I have enough <laughs> to do that's not a, a worry of mine um, but yeah I'm, I'm really excited and happy for myself right now with like everything I'm doing it's just like so organic to me I'm actually going out to get drinks later at like 5 30 yeah, two hours from now with my friend bianca we're going to rolf's which is like very holiday looking place you guys have probably seen it on instagram it's like very pretty i've really been wanting to go so we are going it's also very on brand content for vlogmas so i'll bring you guys with us of course so guys something 
really funny. Also, my slippers, they're so cute. Very comfy from free people. But something funny about my apartment building is my landlord always slips my rent invoice under the door. Like the first few days of the month, he'll just like slide it under the door and I have to send it like in the mail. Like it's just super, like it's not automated, it's not online. It's like literally a tangible invoice under the door. I just always find it so funny. So I like pick it up, I have to write a check. It's like so much effort. I have no idea why, but all I listen to these days is Taylor Swift's Red Album. first vlogmas episode where I'm actually filming myself doing my podcast. I'm also using this lip mask. It's a uh, La La, however you say that. I'll show you. La Neige. I get the worst chapped lips in the winter. So I'm going to tell you guys tonight how I podcast. First, I apply my lip mask <laughs> because I can't talk for 45 minutes. I'm just kidding. Not necessary, but it's become kind of a ritual. So I am closing my bazillion tabs I have open. <sighs> okay, and now I'm opening Final Cut, which is what I use to edit. Um, I use this intro outro that I got from premiumbeat.com. I bought the rights to it. Do you hear that? Like, where is the love? Where is the love in New York City? Anyway, so tonight's episode is about the pressure to be jolly. Um, <laughs> basically, the anxieties that come along with the holidays. People are super stressed. So now I'm going to begin recording basically what I do to record. I'm on my laptop right now. My mic is plugged into one of these fancy little cords that plugs into the side because, as we know, Apple decided to make all of our lives difficult and make the new you know, the new plugs don't support any of my old stuff. I have this like adapter situation. All is well though because the mic is plugged in. I just go to basically record voiceover and I do it within my editing software. Basically all I have when I podcast is like a sheet of like things I want to talk about, but my mind goes in a million directions and I just kind of go with it. So that's probably what's going to happen tonight. Um, I should probably have my phone with me actually because I always read people's DMs and people's um, responses to my stories and that's a lot of my podcast as well. I need to fill up my water glass. I always need something to drink. I will be wearing this sweatshirt every day of Vlogmas, like mark my words. Okay, I'm nervous because you guys are watching me. I never have an audience. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to Thick and Thin with me, Katie Bilotti, and tonight's episode, well, no, that was bad. Sometimes I have to do this like a few times, the intro. Hey guys, welcome back to Thick and Thin with me, Katie Bilotti, and I want to sincerely apologize for my absence last week. I know, I was gone when you needed me most, when you are home with your families for Thanksgiving. So that's it for tonight's episode of Thick and Thin. Thank you guys for listening, and I will talk to you guys all next week. Bye. So guys, that's it for, so that's it for tonight's episode of Thick and Thin. Thank you guys for listening, and I will talk to you guys all next week. Bye. What if things aren't merry and bright? <laughs> and I actually, I got a drink with my friend tonight. So the episode is done. I actually do this thing that I feel like isn't typical for podcasters. I edit as I go because I don't really edit that much. I only edit if I, sometimes I, I'm talking for like 10, 15, 20 minutes and I'm like, I need to like take a break and read my notes or just like reel it in a little bit. Like I get off topic. So I stop and then I cut and I re-record something or I'll like paste it. But for the most part, it's just like train of thought me talking, which I always think people are gonna hate, but for whatever reason, people like it. So I just kind of leave it like that. It's my style, I guess. But I typically don't listen to my episodes back because I just, I don't wanna, honestly, I think the main reason for that is I just get overly critical if I read or if I listen to it back. I feel like I get super critical about what I said and I'm like, that sucks, like that sounds horrible. So I oftentimes will just like 
scrap it and like just go sulk off to bed because I'm like, oh, that was horrible. Yeah, I'm exhausted. It's 11.30 and I was kind of debating staying up late, like till like two, editing the Vlogmas episode that you're watching right now, but I actually think I'm just gonna wake up early at like seven and do it because I am tired. Oh my gosh. So that's it for my little Vlogmas ramble. I will see you guys tomorrow. Toodaloo.